Hey guys, Steph here, founder of Nourish, and I help health coaches grow online with my simple four-step process that I use to quit my day job. So today's video is my top three tips to finish off your launch with a bang. So if you missed the other two videos in our series here, we have the pre-launch strategy as well as the launch strategy. Just comment below, I'll grab you the replay, and if you are looking for it and you can't find it, just go to my YouTube channel, and grab it. Um, all right, so today's video, uh, top three tips to finish off your launch with a bang. That's what we're going over today. So stick with me. I've got about 20 minutes of content here I'll share with you. All right, so if you don't know me, my name is Steph, and I went from burnout to success in my health coaching business not too long ago, 2015. I was burnt out, scattered, and multiple revenue streams, but I was burnt out and broke energetically. My turning point was actually my first successful launch, which was $5,000. And that was enough fuel for my fire to go full tilt into my business. So what I did there was it actually was a launch for a signature product within my health coaching business. It was a lifestyle program. And I use this exact four step process that I'm going to share with you today. All right, so if you are burnt out and scattered, this training is perfect for you because that's exactly where I was. I was burnt out in my business and I was actually um, in full resentment. And what happens when we're not vibing high? That's actually a money and customer repellent. So um, no worries. It makes sense if your business isn't doing well, if you're exhausted, if you're burnt out, if you have scattered energy, if you're wearing one too many hats, if you are working in mini clinics, if you're working full time and then uh, trying to run your business as a side hustle. So not to worry, I can help you here. So I'll just share with you that I was actually working full time when I had my first $5,000 a month within my business. So the main difference here is I had a mindset shift with my job. Instead of hating it, I marked it as temporary and I was very grateful for it because it was the temporary stepping stone to get me to my deepest desires. So it's all about vibration. So if you're feeling low, your job is not to sell, your job is to raise your vibration. Okay, so easier said than done. <laughs> Focus on the good. Um, when you're burnt out and scattered, this can be really hard to do. So don't be hard on yourself. Don't kick yourself when you're down. Come on over to Work Smarter, Not Harder. It's a free support group that I run for burnt out um, health coaches. I'll give you some quick things that you can do to raise your vibe over there. Okay, so really quick, we're not going over the, the, all of the steps here in this video. It's, we're just going over step four. So if you want the full training, how to go from burnout to success with the detailed version, just comment below, I'll grab you that. Um, so step four, take action and kick butt in your launch. So I just went through a two week launch of my own and I was sharing with you guys on Instagram, the behind the scenes. So this is video three of a three part series that I ran. If you missed the two videos before this, just comment below, I'll grab them for you. So we've got the pre-launch video, what to do to set up your launch, video number two, the launch strategy, and then video number three, this one here, how to finish off with a bang. So the last couple days, what to do. So a launch, what is, a, what, is a, what is a launch? How do you sell online? In order to sell, you must get in front of your audience consistently, give them valuable content, and make an offer over and over again until you hit your financial goals. So we're not going to just try to sell something to somebody who doesn't know us. This is what we call cold traffic. We want to warm them up. And then they turn into hot paying customers. So how do we do this? The easiest, most authentic way is to share your story or share client stories and educate educate and entertain people want to be either educated or entertained if you do both fantastic i love um, teaching health coaches how to have a two-week launch condensed energy 10 days is really good as well um, this only works if you really set up for your launch so if you need that video how to set up successfully for your launch comment below i'll grab it for you and always come back to 90% value, 10% sell. Whether you're doing a webinar, whether you're posting on your social media channels, nobody wants to follow a sales pitch. So you got to give good content. And when you're stuck and you don't know what to do in your business to drive traffic, make sure you're in revenue generation mode. So this means adding value, driving traffic to a specific sale, and keeping your vibe high. 
So here we are, here's the meat of this presentation. Top three tips to finish off your launch with a bang. Number one, stay calm. Most people actually purchase last minute the last couple days. So stay calm, keep your vibe high, and don't panic. Number two, follow up, reach out, and authentically connect. Don't spam your audience with, an, with a generic message. Follow up with people who were previously interested that your most likely customer to purchase is a customer that's already purchased. So follow up with everybody that's ever purchased from you um, if your product that you're selling is suitable for them. So you really want to make sure that you are talking to your ideal client. You don't want to get people into your programs when it's not a good fit because then they won't have success and it will be no fun for your business either. So you really want to follow up and reach out to the people who you truly think your program or product would help. Um, and number three, even if you get crickets, it wasn't a waste of time. Say you were aiming for five cells and you got three, that's still amazing. So this is the number one thing that I see health coaches getting bummed up, bummed out about. They try to launch something, they get crickets, they don't sell any, and then they quit their business or they're low vibe and they're out for a couple months until they can bring themselves back up. So even if you get crickets or say you only sell one, one product and you're aiming for 10 or one seat and you're aiming for five, know that seeds are planted. So you've taken people through a process. You've given them value. So now you have a warm audience with awesome content to repurpose. It's also increased your um, authority in your industry. A lot of the time, health coaches have a hard time because they, they aren't... Um, confident. So doing a launch will increase your confidence because you're going to be teaching on a subject for two weeks. So at the end of the launch, even if you get crickets, you're that much more um, ingrained in what you're teaching on. And then you're better set up for next time. So that's the biggest thing. Number three is don't get down and out. Um, there's no such thing as a failure with a launch. You guaranteed would have grown through it and made a ton of content that you can then repurpose. And you now have a warm audience instead of a cold audience. So building a business, I know there's so many posts online saying, you know, make money overnight, make money in your sleep. Building an authentic business that's successful and sustainable, it actually takes time and anything good takes time. So quitting will not speed it up and know that there are going to be success stories that are shared. You know, I went from zero to a million dollars in eight months and all this, that, and the other thing. Um, but that doesn't tell you, that doesn't, they often don't share what they did before they went from zero to a million. So don't compare yourself to other people's journeys. And you definitely want to give your business time and space. And if you're not sure what to do, if you're not ready to launch, watch that pre-launch video because what you can do is you can add value to your social media channels. You can start teaching on a specific topic. And then when you go to launch, you'll be much more successful because your audience will already know who you are and what you teach on. Um, so if you need help niching down or determining who you are and who you help, come on over to Work Smarter Not Harder. It's our free community group on Facebook. And there's under the file tab, there's actually a free PDF that I created to help you do that. So just to recap here, step four, take action and kick butt in your launch. But before you do this, pick a problem in your industry um, and create your system to solve it. So pick a specific problem. What do you want to be known for? So this is, if you're in health, this could be adrenal fatigue is a specific problem that people identify with. Um, and if it's your personal story that you can share, fantastic. If it's not your personal story, then get some really good client testimonial personal stories because the best authentic way to sell is actually just to share your story and client stories. And you've got to make sure it's relevant to your audience. So um, you can't just sell something that your audience doesn't care about. <laughs> so you definitely, before you launch, you want to make sure it's relevant. A good way to do this is just to poll your audience. So you can ask on Facebook. Um, what would they rather see, this or that? You can do little polls on Instagram story. You definitely want to ask your audience if it's something they actually want to um, hear about. And then the last one, is it hot in your industry? Um, 
And to set up for a successful launch, you definitely have to warm them up. To sell to a cold audience is pretty tricky. So a lot of the time when you give free content, drive them to a free offer. Don't necessarily drive them to a sale. When you want to be driving them to a sale when you're in a launch is when they already know you, they already like you, they already trust you, they've already gone through your free stuff, so then they um, are likely to purchase. So when in doubt, give incredible value so that, that your um, audience can get to like, know, and trust you. You want to build opt-ins. So this just means free offers, free Facebook groups, incredible value um, in exchange for their name on Facebook if they're in a group or their email. Um, and then you have targeted lists so that you're not just spamming your personal Facebook page with everything, but you are talking to a specific audience. Um, one of the th main things I used to grow Nourish, my health brand, was collaborations and partnerships um, and guest posting. So that's a fantastic thing to do pre-launch so that you build your channels as well as during your launch. Um, you can set up interviews with people so that you can get on their platforms during your launch. Um, so if you want the launch strategy video, comment below. I'll grab that to you. It was video two in our series. And this is the most important thing. So if you are burnt out and scattered, not feeling great, don't do a launch. Get your vibe high because your current vibe attra attracts your tribe, not who you want to be. So this is actually the most important thing if your business is um, not doing well and you're stuck is to do things to raise your vibe. This doesn't mean you have to go to a 10 day meditation like I do. This could mean doing three deep breaths. This could mean um, hosting a dinner party, listening to audios singing, dancing in the kitchen. Um, raising your vibe just means do what feels good because if you are a solo printer or you, you are the brand, you are the face of your business, um, you are a magnet. So you want to be magnetic to people who are ideal for your products and programs, which hopefully are high vibe people because it's no fun working with low vibe people, is it? Okay. Moving on, 90% value, 10% sell. When in doubt, give valuable content, teach on specific um, topics. So a little bit of homework. How are you gonna get in front of more people? For me, this is Facebook Live, Instagram Live, hands down my favorite ways. That doesn't mean those are your favorite ways. You could, maybe you prefer in-person stuff, going to events. Maybe you prefer hanging out in local hotspots, coffee shops, um, doing workshops and trainings, in person or online, networking. Um, guest posting and interviewing. So commit to something. How will you get in front of more people? And if you're scared to go live, come on over to Work Smarter Not Harder. I'll help you go live for five. Um, it's my free challenge that I help health coaches go live for the first time. And if you're scared to have your face on camera, do what I'm doing right here, which is sharing my computer screen, PowerPoint slide, and just giving some awesome information. And that way you don't actually have to show your face. So if you loved this, come on over for more training, Stephanie McWilliams Coaching. Like my page, share it. Um, and I've got my free community group, Work Smarter, Not Harder. And of course, if you are eager to grow, I offer free 25-minute sessions. I can do a business audit for you. I can check out your Instagram accounts and your uh, Facebook and just give you some quick tweaks to do so that you can start growing online. Um, and using the social media systems instead of being frustrated with them, not knowing what to post or what to do next. A lot of the time um, when I start working with coaches, they are scattered and they just don't know where to start. So book in a free call if you don't know where to start. Don't be afraid to reach out. Um, no strings attached with that call. I really do love helping health coaches grow online. So if you're a yoga teacher, fitness instructor, uh, RHN, and dietitian, um, an energy worker, um, reach out. This for sure is, I can help you whether that's setting up a system. It's just 25 minutes. So it's no biggie on my part. I love teaching on these topics and comment below if you need any of the other video trainings. I look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Steph and I help health coaches grow online.